Hello grade nine math class, welcome back to another lesson. We have number four, where we are going to start to treat variables as basis to a power. Uh, essentially, we are going to be able to write um, x to the power of two and do exponent things with that. We are going to be using them just like we do with numbers, so uh, a lot of the processes are the same, um, but we have a, a new law to introduce, um, and yeah, just it, it gets a little bit more complicated. So let's get into it. We have, first of all, I'm gonna change my marker color. We have the first one, I know it's maybe just a little bit cut off, but we have four P to the power of four, all cubed. All right, so what we are going to do in this situation, we have a number and a variable. Four is the number, P is the variable. Uh, and the exponent outside, like there's nothing to do inside the brackets. There's nothing that we can do. We can't multiply the four by the four or add them. Like this is a term all by itself. So we are going to then apply the exponent through and it is going to apply to both this term and this term. So what we're going to do is we're not going to solve these exponents, we're just going to again be simplifying them as much as we can. So we are going to apply this three exponent into both of these. So this turns into four to the power of three and p, well when we have an exponent of exponent we multiply. So this is p to the power of 12. And that would be our final answer. That's as far as you can go, unless I asked you to solve for uh, the number, um, or four times four times four, but that's not what we're expecting. So let's continue on here. We have next two, x to the power of three, all to the power of four. Okay, I'll use the red, we're going to apply that four to both the two and the x cubed, okay? So we are going to end up with two to the power of four x, oh, I wrote, that's wrong. <laughs> it should be x to the power of three times four, which is 12 again, okay? We're allowed to make mistakes, and I write in Sharpie, so I can't erase them. All right, let's do the next one. We have seven, x to the power of three, again, all to the power of four, okay. So we know what four times three is by now. But anyway, this four applies to everything in the brackets. It is the exponent of everything in there, both the variable and the uh, constant. So we are going to have seven to the power of four, x to the power of 12. Let's do another one. Two, end of the two cubed. That is a three, you know how I do. All right, so that three applies to both of these. So that is two to the power of three, n to the power of six. Uh, you can go ahead and pause here and maybe try the next ones and then see if you got the right answer, but I'll continue right away. All right, let's do three X all to the power of four. So since these are both just like powers of one because they're invisible, we multiply them both by four. We end up with three to the power of four X to the power of four. There's no addition or a subtraction in between any of these. These are all just like one single term where these are multiplied together. And if we knew what X was, we'd be able to do it, but we don't. Uh, let's go to the next one. N squared to the power of two. Okay, so we have no uh, number in front. That's all right. Two times two is four. This is N to the power of four. All that's required. Stevie. I think my dog is having a bad dream. Wow, okay, sorry for the interruption, but she was having a bad dream, I think. Okay, I'm gonna finish this up. <laughs> uh, 
We got five r to the power of three squared. And then we have, so five squared and three times two is six. So that's r to the power of six. That kind of freaked me out a little bit. Uh, and we got a last one here where the power is going to apply to both of them inside. We've got two v squared to the power of four. Four applies to both of them. That's two to the power of four. B to the power of eight. Two times four is eight. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. But thank you so much for watching, everybody. And I'll see you in class.